Hello everyone and welcome back to New Egg TV. I'm Steve and today I'm going to do an overview on this Gigabyte GeForce GTX 760 OC 4 Gigabyte Edition. Okay, here's a look at the box. As you can see, of course, it is from Gigabyte. It is the 4 Gigabyte version and it is overclocked as in the OC version. Uh, it does include their Windforced anti-turbulence cooling triple fan uh, setup. Let me just go ahead and flip to the back so you can actually get a closer look at that particular fan setup. Uh, one thing to notice here, they do use the triangular cool technology, which is essentially uh, triangular set plates to allow the wind to come down off the fan and dissipate across both sides of the heat pipes going this direction and that. I'll show you that in a little bit. Also, one other thing to recognize is in this particular version, they did use uh, black painted metal as opposed to black plastic for the shroud. Uh, so let me go ahead and open up the box and show you the card. So here's everything inside of the box itself. We'll start first with the paperwork. Uh, it does come with the quick uh, quick guide showing you how to install everything and uh, a couple uh, couple graphics is showing you to make sure you have the proper power going to this particular card. And speaking of power, they do give you two adapters uh, to give you the proper amount of power going to this particular card. Uh, first is a, a two four pin Molex to the six pin uh, PCIe plug that will give you the power to this card as well as it also takes a four pin. So if you don't have that on your particular uh, PSU, you'll be able to use this adapter to go two four pin Molex to the eight pin PCIe power. On top of that, they do give you some, uh, some, some software here, specifically the uh, drivers, and you will want to go to NVIDIA's website just to make sure you get the newest ones as opposed to just using this. So here we have the main event. Here's the actual card itself. Now I was mentioning earlier, this is actually metal for the shroud that they're using for Gigabyte's Windforce uh, cooling system. Now it's metal as opposed to plastic for the other versions. Also, as I also mentioned, it comes with the three different fans here. They'll be blowing across the heat pipes and the fin array to keep this card nice and cool. Of course, they also have the, uh, the copper heat pipes inside there too, quite a few of them actually, if you notice. I'm gonna flip around to the back so you can get a look at the PCB, which is slightly glossy black, and you can also see the memory here as well as the GPU. Of course, they are using the GK104 chip on this particular card, and the streaming processors on that, we're looking at uh, six SMX units at 192 CUDA cores each. That gives you a total of 1152 CUDA cores, uh, 96 texture units, 32 ROP units, and the base clock of this particular card is uh, 1,085. The boost clock jumps up to 1,150. Now that's up from the stock version, which is uh, 980 for the base clock and the boost at 1033. So a little bit of boost on both of those. Memory clock, there's no change. It is still at 6,008 megahertz. Now uh, the memory, as you noticed here, is up from the normal two gigabytes to four gigabytes of GDR5 memory with an interface that's a 256 bit and a total memory bandwidth now of 192.26 gigabytes per second. Uh, texture fill rate, we're looking at 94.1 gigatexels per second. Uh, and the fabrication process is still the 28 nanometer and a transistor count of 3.54 billion. Recommended to use at least a 500 watt processor for this particular, excuse me, 500 watt PSU for this particular GPU, and that's going to be the minimum. Of course, you're going to go a little bit higher than that. I also want to mention that uh, it is PCIe 3.0. And at the bottom here, I wanted to show you those as well as the very top, the two NVIDIA SLI fingers. Now you can run up to a four-way SLI on this particular card. Okay, I'll just tilt it to the top here to show you where the power will be plugged in. Here's the eight pin and the six pin uh, peg ports for the power. I'll just flip this around to the front so you can see the rest of the ports here. Of course, we have the DVI slot and part, excuse me, two of them, as well as HDMI and a display port. Okay everyone, that wraps up this overview of Gigabyte's GeForce GTX 760 OC 4 Gigabyte Edition. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, click the like button. If you haven't already done so, click subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.